Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. As I was sitting here contemplating what to talk about, I actually was seeing uh, plant life, food, items that can actually deteriorate and spoil. The one thing I found, check this out. The one thing I found is if you keep something that is supposed to thrive in the sun, in the dark, and you keep it in the dark too long, it begin, even though you're watering it now, you may be watering it, but even though you're watering it and you're giving it a nutrition of some sort, what you end up doing is you're stifling it from the light. There's a certain amount of light. I don't know. I can't really, uh, I don't know if it's called photosynthesis or what. I'm not a scientist. I ain't even going there. But there is something in plant life that has to feed off of the sunlight. That is why if the sun were to somehow be snuffed out suddenly, we would not only freeze, but we would die because there would be no more food, no more light, light giving life to enable us to survive off of. No sun, no life. So we have to think about that in the same terms of God. We think that because, you know, we go to church every Sunday and we may go to Bible study. We may uh, hang out with the people of church. But when we go home, what are we feeding our spirits with? Are we feeding it with the word of God, the songs of God, the songs of Zion? Are we praising and worshiping God at home? Are we doing a lot of prayer? What are we doing with our free time? Or are we feeding our spirits with entertainment that does not glorify God? What are we doing with our free time? What are what kind of movies do we go to? In the movies, are there um, does there happen to be a lot of cussing? Do we hang out with friends and family that do a lot of cussing? Do we do a lot of cussing? You know, what are we surrounding ourselves with? Light or dark? Or shall I say light or darkness? What are we hanging around? What are we absorbing into our being, into our spirits? The things of God or the things of the world? That is the thing that will grow in you. The very thing that you are feeding and nurturing is the very thing that will grow. So if you are trying to live a saved life, you cannot hang with a bunch of people that are cussing, fussing, fuming, fighting, going through all kinds of changes, drinking, getting high, barroom, brawls, whatever. You can't get into all that. You know, the, all these boyfriends and girlfriends that are great in bed and and they want to whisper sweet nothings in your ear and tempt you to, to the hilts. And you're sitting up there sucking it all in and goes, ooh, baby, yeah, I like that tantalating feeling. Well, that's not what you should be feeding. If you are truly trying to live a life of holiness, you cannot make provisions for the flesh. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm being such a buzzkill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guess what? God's a bigger buzzkill than I am because I have to obey those same rules I'm telling you to obey. <laughs> but it's not a buzzkill when you're close to God. You get rewarded. You get the inner satisfaction, the peace, the life. Life comes from dwelling in the light of the living God. You're not going to get light from hanging out at the nightclub, shaking your booty. Yeah, you might get a little uh, thrill from shaking your booty and flirting around with the fellas. But you're not going to get that life-giving light that comes from dwelling in the light of the sun. S-O-N. Think about that. When you compare what you're giving up to what you're getting. God bless you.